Hey everybody, it's Chris. I just went to the Capital City Toy Show and this is everything I picked up today. So I'm gonna do a quick video and show you everything I bought today in Byron. I really had a great time today at the Capital City Toy Show. It was in Byron, Mississippi, and there were all kinds of great vendors there. If you watch right after the intro of this video, you'll see a lot of footage from the toy show and everything I bought there. I really got some great deals there today. Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I love even more. My goal now is to move my massive toy collection to a building and call it Mississippi's Totally Awesome Toy Museum and make it open to the public. I wanna make it a tourist attraction for our state. So now I'm just gonna make a ton of videos and value my toy collection. And then I'm gonna make some where I take you shopping with me to thrift stores and flea markets and toy stores to let you see where I find all these goodies. The Capital City Toy Show was held at Heritage Baptist Church today in Byron, Mississippi. So right when you walked in, there was a lot of activity in the back room where they were having the toy sale. There were vendors from a couple states and they had a little bit of everything. Now, personally, I collect an eclectic mix of toys. I like boy toys, girl toys. I love vintage toys. Anything from the 70s and 80s usually uh, grab my attention right away. Usually when you go to these toy sales, it's mainly guys there. You'll see a few girls here and there, but it's mainly boys that still like to play with their toys. These are most definitely my type of people. Now, personally, I love it when the vendors take time and talk to you. You can exchange toy stories, and sometimes you learn a little bit of history about some of the toys they have at their table. I also like to hear some of their stories, where they find it, how they got it, and um, what kind of things they collect. I saw this cool little Star Trek Tribble and, and um, this vendor in the back. I can't remember his name, but he always has the best stuff. Every time I'll go to one of these, he, he always bundles toys for you. Like if you get multiple things and you can usually get a deal. Um, he's a great guy. He just had a wide mixture of everything. He had G.I. Joes, he had Barbies, he had Simpson figures, wrestling figures, a little bit of everything. And that's the kind of booth I like to go to. Um, you see right there those Blues Brother dolls. I hadn't seen those before, so I'm probably going to pick those up. I do have that Dennis Rodman doll in a dress. Now, this vendor on the other side of the room had a little, just tables and tables full of stuff. And everything on their table was half price. But they were a little bit high to begin with. So even when you got a half price, it was kind of um, a fair value then. So anyway, this is everything I picked up today. This, this stack right here is the bundle deal he gave me, and this stack was $90. So first of all, I got this Snoopy um, Avia Trophy. It originally had $5 on it, and then I got a second one. So on eBay, they're worth about $10 each, so that was a pretty good deal. Then I got these cool little horses I had never seen. They're called Butterfly Velvet Horses. And I got them because he did have the whole set of four and they were priced at $2.50 each. So the whole set was only $10. But remember, he gave me a bundle deal, so they probably weren't even $10. Well, the next thing that grabbed my attention was this large troll doll in a bikini with sunglasses on. Now she has a couple spots on her here and there and her original price was $10. But again, she was part of my bundle deal. Then I got this cool vintage Donald Duck in a trench coat like in, on a safari outfit or something, but I really liked him. And he gave me that free little button just for shopping. And then I think he threw this in free too, a little Lisa Simpson figure. Then I got that Star Trek Tribble. Um, it was very cool. I saw one on Collector's Call one time that was really vintage from the 60s, but this one is newer and he started at $8 on it. And then I got this Snoopy uh, Wheelie figure and it was marked 15, but again, part of the bundle, so it's a little bit cheaper. On eBay, it's about 25. And then let's see what else we got. I did pick up those Blues Brother dolls. One is Dan Aykroyd. Um, they were marked 12 each, but again, part of my bundle, so they were cheaper. And on eBay, they usually go for about $20 each. So I, I got a pretty good deal on these. 
And then I did pick up this Holiday Visions Barbie just because I had never seen her before. And I liked she had real trees in the box with ornaments on it. So I picked her up as well. Now at a different vendor, I bought this retro Chewbacca. And I hadn't seen one like this before with the different colors, but I think it's brand new. And it was priced for $20, so I got it. But that's what it's worth on eBay. And I think I could have got it a little bit cheaper on eBay. I got this cool Batman birthday candle for $5 from 1989. And it's worth about 10. And then this cool Hawaiian punch doll. He was only $5 and he's worth more like $15 to $20 on eBay. He's from 1997. I got this Ghostbusters plush. He was $15, which is probably what he is on eBay. I got this little Fisher Price milk container set. She had $24 on it, but half price it was $12. So that's about what it is on eBay, maybe $15. And then this was my find of the day. It's a Robin figure from 1976. And he was $24, no, $28 marked down, half price. So he was $14. And on eBay, he's $40 or $50. Then I did stop at the Goodwill on the way home just to see if they had anything. I got this little Fisher Price carriage Cinderella for $2. This Hello Kitty bubblegum machine for $3. This giant unicorn plush right behind Hello Kitty who's brand new with the tags for $2. So I'll probably sell him in our flea market booth for $10. Then I got this cool giant dinosaur that makes noises and goes up and down for $10 and he's worth about $20 to $25. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video today. It's from a series we're making on YouTube called Value in My Toy Collection. If you did enjoy it, just hit subscribe. We're gonna make tons of other videos showing you the toys we find and part of my toy collection. So thank you so much for watching. So at the toy show and the Goodwill, I spent a total of $179 today. Well, it's definitely worth more than I spent, and I had a day full of fun shopping. Well, thanks again for watching, and I'll be working on our next video in just a couple days, so stay tuned.